I mean, we've only been together really, to be fair, five minutes. You know, she came on board with me March of last year. Um, you know, she spent most of last year as an age grouper. We've done a lot of work. The, the, the athlete that she finished off last year to where she is now is like night and day. You know, from, from the end of last year, she, her last race was at Weymouth, uh, 70.3. Um, if I remember rightly, she finished fifth. Uh, on the pro field. So towards the end of last year, we got our pro license back. But the athlete she is now, the work that she's done over the winter has been phenomenal. When she was away on deck with me, you know, we really worked hard on her swim. Although her run isn't, um, we're not biting into her run too much at the moment, there is a lot of significant changes with her run in terms of she's starting now to be able to run off a very hard bike. So the next progression would be to work a, a lot on her run. But for me, when, when I first see Chantel, I just knew that she had another gear. And it's all about, from a coaching point of view, it's all about having the vision. You know, she spent a week with me on, on like a trial basis just so I could like kind of work out what kind of ability she actually had. And I knew within about two days really, this is an athlete if I can get her to the way of my thinking, buy into what I want her to do, her, her, her progression will accelerate and that's exactly what's happened. Every athlete's got a quality, you know, and you know, and that's why not everyone's a world champion and not everyone's an Olympic champion, you know, that but that doesn't mean there's not athletes out there that, that compete at the very best at that level at the top level so for me Chantel has got all the things in her locker to make that top level athlete you know I've seen it a lot when I've been working around with Brett um, how you need the vision really to, to look at that athlete at present and think well, where can I get that athlete in four years time where where he or she, where where are they going to be in four years? Chantel, to be perfectly honest with you, she came out to Cyprus. Within three weeks, I'd got to her. And I wasn't anticipating it had happened that quickly. Because she came on board with me, she was a quite a challenging athlete. And I'm not saying she's not a challenge now, but she's seen the methods work for her. She bought into it very quickly, and that's why her progress this year has gone through the roof. The Spirit Series, at the, at the start of it, wasn't, a, wasn't an option. But then, I always knew it was on, on the horizon, um, and when it did, I thought it was a fantastic opportunity to grow a developing athlete. And that's what it, you know, this year was all about. It was about giving athletes that we're in that transition period from elite age grouper or first stages of becoming a pro, that kind of next step. The Spirit Series for me presented a massive opportunity to, to develop Chantel. Throughout the, the season, there were some really good athletes, you know, and actually it surprised me the, the quality of the athletes that actually were racing, not necessarily in the Spirit Series, but in the races the Spirit Series was actually, uh, was actually competing at. You know, I mean, she writes, she's raced Daniela Reef twice, she's raced Emma Billen, she's raced Nina Derren, she's raced um, uh, Zena. You know, some really good, like, world-class names. And I just think, like, you can't, you couldn't, you couldn't really have wrote that experience for her. Um, so for me, the Spirit Series, and for her to actually win the series was, was, was credit to her.